All right, so we're hunting here this morning, and Jeff showed me their setup. This is lights in the blind, job box with decoy boss. Everything runs off a of 12 volt, 6 volt, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty insane. This is car battery here, hooks up to that. I got two more car batteries around here. One's running the lights and pretty sweet setup. Duck, th duck thing's pretty cool. Big old dead green head. The old mallard duck. Now there's a duck bond breakfast right there. Those things are too deep. Look at the water. Well, it's like somebody flipped the light switch. The mallard showed up. That's how cold it is. Another green head on the board. Coming in one or two at a time. It's cold. This makes it worth it. Now you'd think those were snow geese. Those are pelicans. Well, sometimes it's part of the When you reach down in the water to get something, and you go for a swim, and all the steam rolling off. Thank goodness they have one of these. Well, just wrapped up the hunt, and uh, man, I'm cold. Um, probably gonna be sick because of this, but um, got water in my waders. I gotta get my boots all dried out and all that kind of stuff. But um, fortunately, I had some some clothes in my car that I was able to put on and wear, and um, it's gonna be okay. But man, I was cold, and now I got dry clothes, heaters on. I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> you guys ever go duck hunting? Um, always make sure you've got at least one change of dry clothes in your car. Um, or in your vehicle or in your bag or whatever um, just in case you go for a swim because when it's less than 30 degrees outside and you get wet it's not a good combo but uh, you guys stay tuned we got some more uh, duck hunts coming your way and uh, hope you enjoyed today's experience make sure you uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already